Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Lizbeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty, and some fun reviews in between. Today's video is a Dyson hair tool review, letting you guys know my thoughts and answering the big question, is it worth it? If you guys wanna see other reviews from me, go check them out. I have full skim reviews, also reviewed Abercrombie's denim. And if you guys have any other suggestions on products that you want my opinion on, comment that below. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me and be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I can share more honest opinions about products and let you know if I think it's worth it. So let's get into this video. I'm just gonna to get to the point and answer the question right off the bat and let you guys know that Dyson hair tools are definitely worth it in my opinion. I don't talk about specs in this video, I think you can do your own research, find out videos that really talk about the construction, how it's made, what you're exactly getting. I'm just gonna let you know if I think it's worth it, how I like it, if you have similar hair type, hair texture, and are frugal with spending on certain things. I'm not gonna say everything um, I'm really frugal about, but something like this with this price tag is a lot. And I will say how I purchased them, I actually used Klarna. This isn't sponsored by them. I actually did collab with them years ago and learned about them. And I think they are so worth it and such, such a great tool to be able to purchase and finance things. But all in all, I say yes, Dyson hair tools are definitely worth it. They have cut the dry time down, the style time for me way down. And also my hair doesn't look as damaged. My hair looks super smooth and soft and these front pieces that I always had a hard time styling are smooth and frizz free and just nice. And I definitely feel like my hair health has improved a lot. So let's get into the styling. I hope you liked it and yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. and I'll be sure to link the hair tools below. All right, so this is my hair, hair dried naturally. As you can see, it is color treated, it is thick. I have that Latina hair, it is wavy, it isn't curly, like spiral curls um, or coiled. I have, I think it's a 3C, 4C hair type, curl type. Um, but I do love my hair and it straightens really well. It also waves really nicely, but it's very thick and beautiful. It's taken me a long time to love my hair type, my hair texture. I don't know if you can relate, give this video a thumbs up, but I'm at a place at 31 that I love it. So, all right, I have one more section left and I wanted to point out, I have some wave here, as you can see. That is because I have bleached hair and it just is so hard for the front pieces to smooth out with just this brush. I like to go in with the round brush, which helps with bangs, which helps just smooth out the front pieces, add a little bit of a wave or a flip. So I'm going to show you guys, you just press this down, easily swap out the attachment. I'm gonna go in with this one and just smooth it out a little bit more. I'm gonna spray it as well and I don't need it to be super, super smooth. This brush gets helps me get closer to the root and it definitely adds a bit more volume if you have bangs as well. So as you can see, it's a lot smoother, but I'm going to wave it anyways, but there is a big difference as well. And I also want to note, I have never been able to achieve a really like sleek, tensioned blowout at home. I've tried the Revlon blow dry brush, but it didn't, it didn't work for me, which is surprising because this does work for me. Um, I know a lot of people like the Revlon one, but I want to preface that it is affordable, but it's not temperature controlled, so it does cause a lot of heat damage. And that is why I decided to invest in this because my hairstylist who cuts my hair, he suggested the Dyson and I just love it because my hair hasn't felt as damaged and that's amazing because I do have bleach in it. But yeah, it helps smooth out my hair nicely. I can do a quick smooth like this and then put my hair in a slick back low bun. My hair will be nice and smooth and soft. I could do this base and put my hair in a low pony just so it's more smooth or add some braids in it just to have it 
be a more smooth braid. So it's just a lot easier for me. It's more efficient, it's quicker, and it's less damaging for my hair. This kind of smooth, soft bend, I like. It's enough for me, my hair doesn't feel damaged. If I was getting this for this hair with a flat iron, I wouldn't suggest it, but based on the fact that this is a blowout for me, I'm okay with it. So this is my hair quickly, as you guys saw, I'm just like, I don't have patience for my hair. I don't have patience. This is why I like the Dyson Airwrap, so I can quickly smooth out my hair. Uh, this is with this. Also, my hair is fried, so that's why it takes a lot to bend and smooth, but this is a good base for me. I don't mind it, I don't hate it, I like it. I will slick my hair back, I want a low bun if I'm not gonna go ahead and curl it. Um, I can do braids, I can just tuck it behind my ear. I don't mind, I will add oil, I haven't yet. So I don't mind this because it takes me forever. I wouldn't walk out like this per se, but I just wanna show you guys, uh, this is the base of that really quickly done. And as you can see, my front pieces are a little funky and twerked. That is because of the bleach. It's very hard to smooth down, but I'm gonna go in with the round brush because it helps get to the root. Smooth out. attachments to add that like blowout wave all right resectioned my hair then I'm gonna go in with Gizu's prep me prime me define me I really like this primer I feel like it helps my wave hold nicely it helps with frizz threw on my wand again I use an extra long wand because of my long hair and turn it on and you'll notice which side is the right side I haven't figured out which arrows which because I just turn it on and then if it's not curling then I know I need to go to the next section and I'll do a cold blast show you how you know the wand is on the wrong side it doesn't switch it. And that's the annoying part though is constantly switching per section but you can use the opposite wand on the other side I found kind of going like a natural wand tool and twisting it helps but the curls aren't that cool textured um, it's all like going one way, so. All right, so these are the waves right now and I'm not gonna brush them out, I'm not gonna touch them and go ahead and do all the sections of my hair and show you how I finish and set my wavy dice in a look that I love. So, uh, 
major thing I love about the Dyson Airwrap for waving my hair is, well, one, obviously it's less damaging, but two, I'm not burning myself anymore. I don't know what it is about using regular curling wands, curlers, I always burn myself, whether it's my cheek, whether it's my forehead, whether it was my freaking arm. This is from a few months ago and my Latina skin scars so badly, pigmentation. Um, I get really pigmented scars. So with the Airwrap, I love that I don't burn myself. I mean, this gets hot, but I'm not freaking scarring myself. So another reason why I love the Airwrap. you guys so it is the next day and this is my hair it is up in a little top knot because I just took a shower I wanted to show you how I touch up day two hair it's still pretty tamed as you can see the front pieces aren't they definitely have a little bit more wave and bend but I don't go thoroughly through my hair like I did day one this is day two so I'm gonna show you how I touch it up I'm going to switch out the wand for the brush and just brush it through. on the round brush attachment. about 10 minutes to just touch it up probably like eight to be honest and now I'm gonna go in with some oil living proofs frizz vanishing oil I really like this one I wish you guys can see this is how I like to use the Dyson air wrap as you can see it just has some body my hair is smooth it's not insanely straight the curls are very loose and effortless but that is how i like my waves anyways so yeah i just find this hair tool I'll show you guys to be just perfection for my hair type and hair texture i could keep blowing this out a little bit if i don't like the bend and this is why i like the dyson for this reason that it is literally 10 minutes for me to freshen up my hair it takes me about 40 45 to do my hair completely damp not drying it as well and then next i'll show you the flat iron we do have the blow dryer and i'll show you guys how i like to use it because i don't like using it on my hair i don't like to use blow dryers on my hair at all so it's not even about the blow dryer itself the blow dryer is amazing i'm gonna show you guys how i like to use it i'm gonna show you guys how i like to use the dyson blow dryer now I like to use it to dry the pups. It makes drying so much easier, so much faster. It is amazing. You guys, it dries Diego so fast. But Diego also has shorter hair, so that might also be the reason, but still, so freaking fast. My boyfriend has a Wheaton Doodle and the dry time is cut in half for him, so. Love using this for my pups.
you guys. This is what my hair looks like, touched up with the Dyson, with some ringlets. And like I mentioned, the Dyson curls do fall. I don't mind that because you guys saw what I'm working with with my frizzy hair. I'm good with that. It's, it's great, it works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more curl cream. And yeah, the Dyson just de-frizzes and like sets my hair in a way that I love. So this is how I like to touch up my curls and use the Dyson for like a voluminous blowout for just like a touch up of my natural curls. And I love that I don't burn myself anymore. It is amazing. So yeah, this is it for the curls. I mean, I feel like I get the same vibe if I'm not blowing or brushing it out first. A little oil. Just add some shine, set it in. Second way I like to use my Dyson Air Wrap, you guys. Okay, looking good. Okay, now I just have to show you how I like to flat iron it. My hair, well, actually how I like to, well, not even like to use a corral. There's only one way to use it, and that's to strain my hair. So now I'll show you how I like to smooth out my hair with the corral, or actually just how my hair looks smoothed out using the corral. So hope you guys enjoy checking that out. So now I'm going to show you how I like to use the Corel. There are two ways I like to use this, which I'm really excited about, to just straighten my hair and to add some wave and bend. It is amazing. I will say this is my favorite tool just because it really sleeks and strands my hair really nicely. So here is the Corel. As you can see, it is cordless. It comes with this cute little stand and it's really nice and chic and modern. And the cord plugs in right here. So that little beeping sound is that it's charging. And there's a little green light that you'll see here um, when it's charging. And I also wanna point out, so it is cordless, but you can go ahead and plug the cord in here. My only qualm, well two qualms about this that I don't love is that this doesn't really lock in nicely. It falls out, which is annoying to me. I have a lot of hair. This may not be an issue with you guys, but um, I'm pretty rough with my hair and this kind of falls out. Second thing is the battery does not last long enough for my hair but because I love the results and that it's really minimizing damage, I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. Again, there's certain things like Dyson hair tools aren't the most perfect tool, especially because there's so many different hair types and textures out there. So that's my only thing is my hair doesn't um, last on a full charge with this, but I give myself enough time, I charge it, I go do some other things, finish my makeup, and then I'll come back and finish my hair. Another thing I really, really like about this though is you can take it with you on the go. So specifically in a car, I've actually been able to finish my hair and the more I kind of went ahead and straightened my hair, the straighter and softer and shinier it got. So definitely smooths out really, really nicely. You can also travel with this. I wanna point out here, there's a little airplane here and you need to disattach this little area when you're traveling because no different than any battery that you take with you, phone charger, computer charger, how you're not supposed to stow it underneath the airplane, you have to take it in your carry-on. Um, this is the same thing, but you can just attach it so you can stow it in your carry-on. All in all, really amazing. Can't wait to show you guys how it um, works with my hair. And this is the on button right here battery lights up and then you press the power button to turn it on so the lowest is 330 then you can go up to 365 and I go to the hottest um, temperature which is 410 and here is my hair as you guys can see I already showed you guys it's clean super soft right now just had a deep conditioner and I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair and it's ready I'm gonna section off my hair. And I'm gonna go in with IGK's Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. It's like keratin in a can, and it's also heat protectant, so it really straightens and smooths out my hair really nicely. It's one of my favorites for straightening my hair. And you're supposed to use this 
on wet hair and then blow dry your hair and then flat iron it, but I find that it works really nicely sprayed on before I flat iron my hair. I just brush it out, untangle my hair. the third section of my hair. I probably flat iron about six sections total and I'm already halfway through the battery, but that's okay. I definitely give myself a bit more time. So I'm gonna let this finish charging. But as you can see, it's super soft, smooth, shiny, it's amazing. So we're gonna let this charge and I'll be back and finish the rest of my hair. so shiny and so smooth. I still have these blonde pieces, so those are never ever going to be completely shiny straight like this top, but look at this. I'm gonna finish it off with some oil. This is another oil I like by Marianella, the True Soft Argan Oil, and just focus the oil on my ends. And yeah, this is how my hair looks, smooth, sleek straight with the corral and then in the next clip which is going to be tomorrow i'll show you guys how i like to add some wave and bend with the corral but all in all it is amazing makes the hair super soft and smooth and i'm a big big fan so here's the corral flat iron highly recommend definitely a must for me i love 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 it so and I'll show you guys how I do some wave. It is the next day and I've already started, realized I wasn't recording, but um, we are going to wave with the Corral. I just plugged it in um, just so it can charge while I do my hair. I'm gonna go in with a heat protectant. This is what I'm trying out right now by r Co. Heat Styling Spray. Just try my best with top tools now to protect it as much as possible. I find it to be a lot easier to use with smaller sections. And all you're gonna do is go to the root and then you're just going to start twisting like so. And go all the way to the end. I'm sure you're probably thinking, why do you straighten your hair, then go back and curl it when it's already wavy? It's just so much easier to style when it's smoothed out or straightened or even waved. Um, I definitely apply some tension. As you can see, the smaller sections are a little bit tighter curled and then the thicker it is, the more wavy it is. I just like how smooth my hair is with the corral compared to the air wrap so if you have hair texture like mine I would definitely invest in the corral first um, if you just like to straighten and smooth your hair if you want to have the option of blow drying and going that route then do the air wrap first honestly I just love the wave I just love how easy it is and I love 
how my hair gets not so damaged. So this is all you do to twist and curl your hair. I'm gonna finish it up and I'll show you what my hair looks like afterwards. I'm gonna set it with this R & Co. Sail Soft Wave Spray just to kind of add a nice little hold and finish with some oil. Makeup's done, curls have fallen a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more of the wave spray. And then try something new. I normally like to go in with a pomade. This is a Geezy one that I shared in the beginning of the video. This is one by Bumble and Bumble. It's for curls, it's a gel pomade. And then I'll go ahead and finish with some oil. I'm gonna go in with the Living Proof one. That one is definitely my favorite, the Frizz Vanishing Oil. And that is it, you guys. And it just looks really pretty and shiny. As you can see with the Corral, there's a big difference with the Curl. And if you like something that holds or what I mean is heat tends to hold and create curl better that last. So if that's more your vibe, definitely check out the Corral because the air wrap, as you saw last, it's easy, but it definitely falls. It doesn't hold as much, so. All right, I'm gonna go film, but that's how I like to use a Corral to create some beautiful, effortless, textured, beachy waves. So it is like that. All right, guys, that is my video. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helps you with making a decision on whether to purchase your Dyson hair tool, which one you've been eyeing, which one you've been wanting. That is why I created this video for any of you babes that have a very similar hair type hair texture to mine because there wasn't anybody out there that did and I had to invest myself to figure it out. So I hope this video helps you and thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Again, give it a thumbs up and comment any other products you think need a honest, solid review. If you think we have very similar taste, hair type, vibes, let me know. But I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.